What's up everybody? Today we're going to go over a quick tutorial on how to solve the not connected issue in Logitech G Hub. Essentially on the new Mac OS platforms, um, you need to make sure that it has permission uh, to access the keyboard in order for it to work correctly. Now if I were to unplug the keyboard and plug it back in, it would detect um, that it has been unplugged and plugged back in, but we get this message right here that says not connected. And it needs to be connected essentially for us to make any changes to it. So to resolve this, it's actually quite easy. Um, we need to give it permissions. Um, we're gonna have to reboot the G-Hub software in order for it to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit that now. You can just hit the little G icon up top and hit the quit button. Next, we're going to go to the Apple icon system preferences. And then we're going to go to security and privacy. Now this is open, we're gonna to go to the accessibility option on the left-hand side, and we can see the Logitech G Hub is not selected. Now, if this is grayed out for you, it means that um, your settings are locked, and you just need to hit this lock icon right here, um, and then put in your password, and then it will unlock them for you. So now what I'm gonna do is click the Logitech G Hub um, permissions. It says allow the apps to control your computer. This makes sense because the keyboard controls the computer, the software is controlling the keyboard. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and give it permission. Now that we have given it permission, we can simply search for the G Hub software and start it back up. As you can see, it is now able to connect to my Logitech G910 keyboard. We can furthermore confirm this by clicking on the keyboard itself. And when you double click, we are able to change the coloring, we're able to change the macros, uh, we're able to do, oops, wants to give me a tour. We're able to change the coloring, we're able to change the macros and everything else um, that you want to do with this. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below so I know you like what I'm doing. Give me ideas on what videos I should do next. And most importantly, have a great day.